Pergameno. Magnet style pergameno is a decorative effect in form of crumpled paper dimensional texture on interior surfaces. Depending on the desired texture finish, the product allows building various patterns with characteristic creases and veins. The finish color and texture are obtained by covering the textured coat with a transparent or metallic magnet style rustic top coat sealer. Application of the coating requires the following products and tools. Undercoat and acrylic paint for proper substrate preparation. Magnet style distemper and acrylic paint for binding and curing the magnet style pergameno texture. Pergameno, the decorative paper. Rustic top coat sealer. A matte acrylic sealer for the coloring and protection of the pergameno coating coloring pigment, a concentrated pigment for coloring magnet style products, a sponge float, substrate preparation. Proper substrate preparation is a critical stage of work. The surface to be rendered with magnet style pergameno should be solid, dry and free of dust, adhesive residues, oil, grease or grime. Apply only one coat of magnet style undercoat with a roller. The paint contains fine grain quartz sand. The product will ensure the proper adhesion of the distemper. The recommended drying time for the layer of the undercoat paint is about 2 hours. Application of the decorative paper coating. Before applying the pergameno decorative paper, it is important to prepare the required number of single sheets. Tear away those edges of the decorative paper sheets that will be joined across the same plane. Next. Crumple the sheets by hand. Apply a thick layer of the distemper with a roller on a patch slightly larger than one paper sheet. Stick the pergameno paper sheet immediately onto the distemper coating, stretch the sheet, gently forming the desired texture. Note that the paper quality allows some corrections to the texture, but when the paper has soaked much of the distemper, the corrections are limited or no longer possible. Form the texture by hand. Use a dry roller or a wide brush to thoroughly remove air bubbles from under the texture. Apply the successive paper sheets in the same way with overlap technique. Wet coat the overlapping joints with the distemper by grading with a brush or a small roller. Another method of making the paper sheet joints is to sculpt veins in them by hand. All these techniques are to give a uniform plane without any joints visible in the finish.
leave the glued material for about six hours to dry. Proofing the texture. An important stage of work before applying another layer of the distemper is to correct the texture. Use a wallpaper blade to cut off all excessive not sticking paper. In case of thicker creases, stick them down again with a brush. Once the texture has dried, reinforce it by coating with a layer of magnet style distemper. Use a brush. Apply the distemper carefully to thoroughly cover all paper creases. Leave the coat for about 6 hours to dry. When working on larger surfaces, coat the whole texture with the colorless rustic top coat sealer. This will reduce drying of the successive coat and facilitates the coloring of the surface. Surface coloring. Coat the finished texture with the pigmented magnet style rustic top coat sealer to produce the decorative effect in the color of choice. Add enough magnet style coloring pigment to the clear top coat and mix the products thoroughly. When several containers of the same product are to be uniformly colored, it's advisable to color them together in one larger container. Apply the top coat sealer with a brush or a roller to about one square meter at a time. Then follow by rubbing the coat with a sponge or a sponge float to remove possible streaks or smudges. To highlight the decorative effect, it's recommended to apply another layer of the colored top coat sealer once the first layer has dried. The drying time of the sealer is about one hour. The surface is resistant to washing and wet scrubbing in three days.